Hi, I'm Gary from Martin Leach and & Sons and today we're coming out with a 705, a super antenna and a handy little bag and Richard said come meet him in the park, so let's go. Hello Richard. Hello Gary. I have brought the requested bag. Excellent, excellent. Shall we have a look, see what's in it today? Oh yeah. Let's see what we've got in the bag today. I hope you approve. Oh, that's nice, look at that. Excellent. 705 with the carry cage to protect it. Very good. And, oh, this looks like a super antenna kit. It is indeed. Oh, lots of bits here. There we go. Spike, coils, bracket, telescopic whip. Very nice. What have we got in the front? Aha. Uh. Uh -huh. A rig expert. Perfect. Uh -huh. Well, Gary, I think you should put this antenna together. Okay, so what we've got here is, a, is the super antenna. This version comes with a spike and the two meter add-on. Now, if we're not going to be doing two meters today, but if you do, there it is. You've got the two meter coil and the two meter extension. But like I say, we're not going to use those today, so I'm going to put them back in the bag out of the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the two HF extensions and we're just going to screw those two together, like so. That just pops on the bottom of that one. Once you've done that, then all you need to do is start adding the, the base part on, and then add the spike. Now this comes with a little protective nut on here, which you just simply take off and then just put away in the bag. Now, we're gonna need some form of counterpoise. So in here, now we've got one which is gonna be reasonably big. It's, it's a bit big than what we, so what we need, but they come in tune lengths. First time that you use this, this is a brand new antenna. They, you're going to need to separate the, the, little lead, the, the little leads. And what I'd recommend is coiling each one of these up separately so that you can just wind them out quite easily when you're sort of done. But when they're new, they come in one bundle. And on here, you can see there's just some little spade terminals and they quite simply push on like so. Now, we are dealing with, what band are we on, Richard? Uh, 20 meters. 20 meters, so we're gonna be playing with 20 meters. This will be perfectly good enough for that. Now, what we're gonna need on the top is the telescopic whip. And that, for the most part, is the antenna put together. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this in some, into a nice clear space. And I'm just gonna put my foot, my big hoof, and just simply just push that down into the ground. And that's it. Now comes the bit where we've got to tune it. So I'm just going to lay these out and I'll come back to tuning the antenna. I've laid all the counterpoises. Um, so I've just taken this out the ground. Just going to connect the, the feeder cable here, like so. And with the whip fully extended, we'll put this, make sure that's sort of tight. And you can just pre-check this here you can just see that we've got that as approximately 14.2 ish uh, give or take and what we're going to do is going to put this somewhere where it's sort of pointing straight up looking near enough vertical and just give that a little push in the ground and it goes off at a weird angle um, okay right we'll give that a go so richard and i are now going to give this a go at tuning it okay gary's uh, set the antenna up provisionally. Let's have a look on the uh, rig expert to see what we've got SWR wise on 14.200. Let's have a look, we're on the correct band. So 14.200 we've got 1 1.6 SWR. Let me try it a little bit down. Yeah try down. There you go, that's about a millimetre. Right let's, let's have a look at that. So we're on 14.250, 1.4. Yeah. SWR, that'll do. Yeah. Okay. That's perfectly adequate for working out in the field. Right, so we've got the antenna set up over there. We've got the coax fed to the uh, 705. Let's see if we can make some contacts. Golf 2, Mike Lima. Golf 2, Mike Lima, QSL. Golf 2, Golf 
2 Mike Lima, Golf 2 Mike Lima QSL. Golf 2, Golf number 2. Roger, Roger. Golf 2, Mike Lima. Roger, thank you. Are you 5 and 9? Thank you very much. 5, 9, plus, plus. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ciao. India, India 2. Well, that was fun. <laughs> it got us out of work for a couple of hours. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Just don't let Martin know. And we made some contacts as well. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And we've um, run Henry's phone out. Run Henry's phone flat. So we use <laughs> what did we use? We used the 705 running five watts on the battery. Yep. We've used the super antenna. Yep. And uh, 10 meter bit of coax. That's it. Yeah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And these these don't break the bank. And no. and to be honest, they're, they're really really compact. I mean, they are. There is a compromise to be had, but with a little bit of you know attention to detail, yep. I think you know yep. it's a perfectly. Um, reasonable little okay. antenna. Right, well we'll call it a day for today. There is yep. one more thing, in fact there's a couple of things. Tony's competition last week for the uh, Nano Morse Key, that was won by Golf Zero, Whiskey Zulu Bravo and the competition for this week is very simple. Just like, comment and subscribe for this video and we will pick one person at random and the prize is one of the fantastic Icon mugs. And they are really good because they've caused quite a stir in the office. Have they? Yeah. I've not even have, seen yeah. one yet. And, and, and John, I think, and John and Nat and Manu are almost at, at blows over it. Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again next week. It might not be me, might not be you either. No. All the best. <laughs> Ta-ra. Bye-bye. <laughs>